Hi guys, Juan Santos, CEO of Heartbeat Media Group. Just want to share a video with you on the topic of the business pie. Now it's not a pizza pie, it's not an apple pie, it's the money pie. So the money pie is very, very complicated because in a perfect world, you stay within the 100%. The 100% representing 100% of the money that comes into a business, any type of business, they're all the same. When you have the income, you take that 100%, you look at the, the pie and you say, okay, how do I not get to a negative? How do I not exceed the 100%? When you're deciding how to allocate the money, you obviously have to go through all of the pieces that are the must haves. The objective is when you get to the end, when you get to the end of the pie or the completion of the pie, it's not gonna go into the red. In a perfect world, you stay within the pie, you have some net profits at the end, and subsequently you're making money. In a lot of cases in today's world, the formula has gotten thrown out of the window. You have businesses, Amazon, all these companies that they lose money, but they're propped up by banks. Small business owners in most cases don't have this. They don't have this opportunity that these large companies with you know, publicly traded companies and all these other companies that are propped up by banks and banks are funding their expenses and banks are pouring money in there because it's the long game. They know that eventually they get to profitability and ultimately everyone wins. In a small business, it's a, a bigger challenge. It's much, much harder to manage that pie. In some cases, even as a small business owner, you make a decision to take on debt. Now there's good debt and there's bad debt. The good debt is if you have a specific need, you wanna uh, increase your staffing, marketing, you wanna increase your marketing so that you know, you're know you hopeful to get an ROI, a return on your investment. Whereas bad debt would be debt that you're gonna, that you're gonna use to cover losses. That's bad debt. If your business is losing money, then you have to identify the symptoms of that problem. What is the problem? The problem, maybe you have too much payroll. Maybe there's, there's an opportunity to, to trim it down. Maybe there's an opportunity to look at your additional expenses. You know, every opportunity that you have as, as a business owner and every situation, you could drill down and you can literally look at everything that you spend and dissect it to the point where you can save money. The goal here is to take that hundreds, the 100% hundred of the pie and, and not look at it as the 100%, look at it as every fraction of that 100%. So obviously you have to have your rent, you have to have your utilities, but even in the utilities, you can, you can do some things to help yourself. You can, you can manage it better. So everything that we do when it comes to managing 100% of the pie is to stay within the, the, the parameters of being profitable. No one wants to have a business that is losing money, not as a small business owner, of course. And in sometimes you sacrifice, you sacrifice your own payroll. So you say, okay, well this year I won't be compensated as a small business owner. So in that case, you have to have reserves of your own to cover yourself. You know, I've done that. I've had businesses and I had a business for four years that paid me zero in the four years. I made that sacrifice because I knew that if I, if I took on payroll, took payroll from that business, that business, business wouldn't have lasted the four years. It would have been destroyed after two years. When you're looking at the pie, it's very, very simple, but it's complicated because sometimes we don't know where to begin. There's certain things that you cannot change. You can't change your rent because that's a fixed number. You can't change the fact that you have to have utilities. That's sort of a fixed number. Your phone, all of those expenses and all those pieces of the pie are sort of standard and stationary. So it's the other moving parts that you have to decide, okay, what can I do to be better, be more efficient? And that's where you ultimately will decide, okay, is this business the business that I wanna be in? It can't be emotional. You know, often we allow our emotions to dictate how we manage our business and not the fundamentals of the numbers. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't have emotions. The numbers don't cry. The numbers will tell you whether that business is worth keeping or not. And sometimes you have to make a difficult decision. I've made those decisions in my life. I've had to shut the door and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take my losses and move on. You have to be very, very honest. Don't, don't try to kid yourself and think, well, it's gonna get better. If my sales do not increase at a certain pace and my expenses are, are where they are, then you have to make that tough decision and say, 
this is not the business for me. So guys, if you like what you've heard and you feel this value to it, then subscribe and like it on the Heartbeat Media Group. And I'll see you on the next video.